one of these days we'll get there. I swear. We'll play some melee. It'll happen soon. Turning locator is so slow. Hey, Jake's new. That's all right. No, Hunter is equally slow, if not slower. It's not about newness or not. I'll forgive Jake. He can become faster one day. Yeah. We can make him better. I mean, the reason we're slow is because we have to over-standardize everything going on, on the screen yeah. before we play the match, which no one cares about. Yeah. Anyway. Well, we want clean production value for even quick release, so I, I, I consider that a good decision, honestly. All right. High recovery there. Oof. So, Jackal and Arsenal's, they're like a really good team. Yeah. They like play a lot. They know what they're doing. Uh, they're both really solid foxes. Yeah, but Bernanas, I feel, just has the synergy. Yeah, Ber out. Bernanas, they've not been teaming, I don't know if it's been for a whole year, but uh, they. But but even if they haven't been teaming for, for a whole year, they've learned at the same time, they like learned the game together. Yeah. So they have that like connection. Yeah, that we've been together forever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that, that, that late double jump nair from Arsenal's to cover a uh, jump out of shield. It was just really subtle. And I really, really liked it. What are your favorite micro interactions in melee that you can make? Oh god. Um really isn't anything that's like related to like really fun movement yeah. around each other. Probably ledge related movement or or, or platform related movement relative to a character that's grounded. Mm. So like if there's a Marth trying to hold down the stage and then I can like dance around the platform really well and then get around it and hit them, that's like one of my favorite things. So feelings. satisfying. Yeah. For me, I like it when people like do really, really late callouts as fast fallers, just because they can. Yeah. Cheater characters. Yeah, those are called. For a cheater. Big shiny boys. Oh. I feel like Yoshi's isn't honestly Double Fox's best stage in this matchup. I think it's not this style of Fox's best yeah. stage in the matchup. I think, I think Pokemon Stadium might be for that style. Because like you get well, your probably, early kill-offs. Well, probably banned. Yeah, that's true. Oh, okay. Nice to pick up, baby. Save this is definitely better for Double Fox than Dreamland or Battlefield. Yes. What they have to ban, so. Yeah. So this is probably it's the best. Oh my gosh. Not sure if Brayden did that on purpose. Full I think he did. I think he did. That was actually really smart. But oof. That went about uh, as expected, where they were in control the whole time, but it wasn't like a like a six. I can't read lips. Brayden is trying to make me understand something, but I just actually don't know how to read books. What? Oh, okay. Shoutouts to Brayden wearing Rainbow Crocs again today. I have never been more disappointed in a man in my entire what? life. Yeah. Huh? Trades off. One of my favorite things is when a Falco or a Fox is sitting there up tilting and then the other character defeats that option. Yeah. Because it's really hard. It is. And it's just like, I want to get around this, but it's such a tight timing. Okay. Ooh. Nice little shine back here. It's Brayden. Yeah. Oh, I did use a bullet. Yeah. Oh, well, it's hard to know. It really is. And like in doubles, you should be able to just hold ledge more often than not. <laughs> nice Puff-esque double back air by Brayden. Just throwing out the move a couple times. Yeah, Your you know. jump is that Ooh. big. Falco full hops busted, if we're being real honest. So good. Okay, rinse and repeat. Yep. Just, uh, Arsenal's is probably one of the best foxes at like nailing bad recoveries and killing people for them. Like, he utterly destroys me off ledge, and Ice Climbers have a really rough time against it, too. Oh, I no. think I think that's something that uh, all those PM fundies are going to do, where yeah. you just really know how to control the edge against weird-ass shit going on. Yeah, you're like, I guess I got to deal with this. Did you play PM back in, like, 3.0? I played it in 3.02 uh, as I was playing Melee, and um, I, I was into it for a little bit, and then there wasn't really a scene in Alaska as much like most of it was four hours away right like two dudes to play with but like all all these melee what folks were do? sorry really know. but all these people were near my hometown that played melee so i was like i'm gonna be a melee player <laughs> and hate pm and then i came to a scene where like the people were cool and like i was able to hang out with them more this was neat and now you hate pm but like playing it with people because people yes, are nice yes that's pretty much it it's like i have issues with the game and a lot of issues with the characters and some of the design but man the people are cool so i'm there for it the, uh, back in 3.0 and 3.1 and 2.5 a little oh, bit. Oh, that shine! 
we would we would playfully call that game Project Recovery because every character just had really good recovery. It's an obscene reason. recovery. Oh. Very ridiculous. Oh man, this is pretty yeah. close. Oh, why did he get back on? I don't know. Okay. No. Oh. Oh, if he back aired right there, Dragon Cole just managed to get the back air out. Oh! Okay. Is that Nana okay, or Okay, this is super doable. That oh. was, that, Nana's just gone. Oh my god. This, okay, so, so, so Bananas is a really consistent player. He just like holds down the ground and doubles, has a good game plan. Nice. And then Brayden, baby, uh, he sometimes holds down all the platforms really well. He sometimes has super good lasers. He also he holds down off stage sometimes and dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's sometimes the best player on the screen, and other times he just makes like five really bad mistakes. And Bananas just has, has to kind of watch it happen. Yeah, that's how how uh, there was a big part of his gameplay that Bananas was saying. He's like, if I see you get grabbed and thrown backwards off stage, I know you're going to die. <laughs> and it's like I just I have this innate feeling that it's gonna happen and I just kinda watch it happen. <laughs> yeah, green team's sticking really, really hard to the pops now. They are not dealing with this at all. No. Yeah, they just wanna play two V1 versus Brayden while bananas holds holds down center. Yeah. Snap the ledge. Is that yeah. dead? Almost. Not quite. They did cover that roll in from bananas, but oh, oh this short. That's rough. Dying at thirty-eight percent, but an SD from. He was at like ninety, so it doesn't matter that much. No, he was at thirty-eight percent. The Falco was? Oh, the Falco, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But no, the the Fox. We missed the short. Nice, good pickup. Trying to force the two v one, but Falco is really hard to like force the two v one on. I feel like. Yeah. Getting it on him is just difficult in general. He has big and fast moves. Oh. Rough. Well done by Bananas, holding it down. Yeah. Quite literally. Yep. <laughs> okay. And holding Banana it down too hard. Bananas kills his teammate. Or it's more like Brayden ran into his teammates' hitboxes. Yeah. This is looking rough again, though. Like, Bananas is just monster, just monstering everybody, and then there's that. Oh. Oh, this is. Brayden, what the fuck are you doing? Okay. Yeah, it's all up to Jagman here. And, oh, okay. oh god, it's that awkward reverse forward smash hit. And, oh, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that barely right. worked out. That was pretty neat. I think Brayden's mad at me because I like clapped when they managed to sink in the two v one. He like look, he like glared over at me. <laughs> He's a sensitive boy.